Randy, what encouragement do you have for fathers? Well, fathers, uh, it's a huge job, and so fathers need encouragement. One of the things I think about, Scripture says in 1 Thessalonians 2, uh, Paul says when he was with the Thessalonians, he was encouraging them, uh, and he was comforting them, and he was urging them to live a life worthy of the Lord. So I think when it comes to the role of fathers, we tend to skip to the urging, like make our children be obedient. They should be good and they should do the right things. And so tell them what to do. And I think Paul gives a good model there when he talks about first, encouraging and comforting children. Because when you're there to encourage and comfort your children, right. then you've got a relational basis uh, for when the time comes that you have to urge them to behave mm -hmm. the right way. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. I think that father-son or father-daughter relationship is so important to the child that first establishing the truth that you're going to speak with a foundational relationship is going to make you know the urging that much more uh, received in a better way for right. the child. Yeah, we have to come to our children with, with grace and with truth, and that's, that's a huge job for fathers, but the thing I would say to encourage fathers in this process of parenting is that God is a father, God totally understands what it means to be a father, God understands that sometimes children will rebel, He understands that you are first His child and only secondly are you a father. So learn as a child of God what you love and enjoy about your Father in Heaven, and then seek to be that kind of Father to your children.